Here is 129 Shumpert. It's kind of cool the way you get here. You actually have to drive around the pond to get here. So the pond is through there. I'll try to do a video leaving. You got to go kind of drive around the pond. And your driveway is down there. And then you'll end up where I'm at over here. So they do have a carport up here in front of the house for parking has power here I don't know if it's unlocked or not yep. you do have storage here and power in here concrete floor Smells brand new, so it's, has not been here too long. And then your property line is the orange ribbon you see right there, so it's not too far. And then that sign down there is where your driveway starts. So you kind of have a shared driveway with the neighbor right there. Your neighbor over here has a pool. There you go, a little better. It's so coming down to car garage, stone walkway. You do have a covered front porch, vinyl wrapped siding. As you come in, you have engineered. Hardwood floors in good condition. Here's the view from the front door. Coat closet to the immediate right when you walk in. The downstairs family room. Upstairs dining room. To the right, eating kitchen area. And you do have a pantry. And then from standing inside the eating kitchen area, here's the kitchen. A little bit smaller than what we've seen, but you do have the pantry. And they took out the wall oven, so you do have more storage here for, you know, pots and pans here. Nice gas burner, looks newer. Backsplash looks good. You got some under mount LED lights. Here's a view from the kitchen. There's some water on the floor from the dishwasher. Guess they just ran it. I'll let the agent know. Some water on the floor. Hope it's not anything too major. So the two car garage off the kitchen. And they do have a mini split out here, so they do keep it heated and cooled. They got a little TV, a little DJ booth set up out here. Some 
light, so they must hang out out here a lot. They do have a half bath in the garage. They do have a big speaker, so they must hang out out here a lot. Good so far. Coming back, another view. I'll go up here. So, pretty big room. Same engineered hardwood floors. View from the window. And down the hall first bedroom here like a full-size beds in there dressers a lot of maybe newborn and this closet is just a tr traditional closet This would be the master bedroom here. Carpet. Everything smells good and looks good. I guess they have Alexa in every room, so it's playing music throughout the whole house. Well, the laundry room is in the master bedroom. which is also the master closet. And this is actually the end of the house. That's real brick. So this may have been like a storage room back in the day that they've converted. Don't know if it's heated or cooled or not. Here's the master bathroom. So we got original cabinets. Got a black with the nice granite. Two sinks. Tiles in good condition. Just some hooks right here. As you spin around, they have a makeup area and a toilet. Another Alexa speaker in the wall. Nice shower with the two rain showers. Nice big seat. And then, yeah, it's, it's the end of the house, that's real brick, so I'd be curious how it looked before. Everything looks, a little bit of regrouting right there. A little bit of more grout right there, nothing major. I mean, drains off center a little bit. But the inspections will show all that. And 
man closet in the hallway. This bedroom is bigger than the first one. A lot of storage. More of their craft room. Nice tile floor. Coming back out. Better room over here. Master bedroom. Now we'll head downstairs. And they do have some built-in storage over here behind the couch. Gas fireplace. Take a look outside. Nice, they just stained the deck recently. So that road right there, that road you have to drive on to get to your house. You have some koi pond or a koi pond. And that's the garage, that's the door in the garage. Another covered porch here off the garage. That's the kitchen window. They're off the garage. They just stained this deck. And replace some of the wood, rotten wood on there. Cool system. I guess they have a heater for the pool. A nice pool. with the waterfall. Here's the side yard. You got like a road going that way. Side view of the house, vinyl siding. We've got some storage over here. Yeah. 
bunch of equipment. It is fenced in and I walk out to the pond. So I guess your property line ends somewhere over here. Another view of the pool. Very nice house. Here's outside the gate, your neighbor's house. On the way back out towards the end of the video, I'll get in my truck and show you the drive back out to the road. So you're no subdivision, no HOA. You still have neighbors, but this is a good neighbors from what it looks like. and the hot tub. One more view of the kitchen. Okay, so leaving the house, driveway. Here's what your drive would look like leaving the house. There's your neighbor. Goes from an asphalt driveway to like a crush and run rock driveway. And you do have a neighbor with the fence area over here. Big house. Got a nice RV over there. They have a gated entrance. And it turns again to an asphalt driveway. Get tricky coming around this little turn. It's only one car at a time. Then it gets a little bit wider, as you can see, to a two lane, or one and a half lane. But you got some neighbors to the right. And neighbors to the left. And then your mailbox is up here, right there.